All right, can you hear me now? I can hear you. I just can't see you. So I don't think your camera. Okay. Yeah, she, she wants to start the camera. She'll video it. There we go. How about now? Perfect. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Thank you so uh, much. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm sorry. I, uh, like I said, we're on the road and we're actually in the motorhome. So uh, I, uh, I had to pull over and let somebody else drive for a few minutes while I can make this call to you. Well, I appreciate it because people here in the Architex want to know what you guys are doing for, for the Heartland. Yes. Um, if you'd start by saying your first and last name, spelling it, and then your title um, at the okay. organization you represent. Okay. Uh, my name is Brian Rapolo, B R Y A N Rapolo, R O P P O L O. And I am the uh, co founder, uh, one of the three co founders for Giving Back Foundation. And Giving Back is B A K. And so, so tell me a little bit about your organization. What do you guys do? So basically, we, uh, we like to cook. We all come from a, a bunch of competition barbecue guys who used to go do competitions. And what do we do on a competition? We go sit up in a parking lot and cook. And so we go in after storms, disasters, flooding, we go set up in parking lots and feed people. So our nonprofit's called Giving Back and BAK stands for building a kingdom. So our goal is to, uh, through every hot meal that we give is to share the gospel. You said it uh, goes back to building a kingdom? Yeah, B-A-K. That's what B-A-K stands for, is building a kingdom. Okay, so I think we kind of had a little connection issue there. Yeah, I'm sorry. sorry. We're Like I said, we're driving. So B-A-K is building a kingdom. And uh, so we just go set up and after a disaster. And uh, we always partner with a local church. And we try to uplift that church and that community and, and let that church help themselves. We're just the eyes and feet uh, of hands and feet of God on the ground there. So, and so when did this organization start? You guys are located here locally in Shreveport, correct? Correct. I'm out of Shreveport. I do have two partners that are in uh, Alabama. And so then I have other members of our organization that have helped us all over the state and all over the, the South region. But uh, we started about three years ago. We were all part of a larger organization and uh so I've been doing disaster work for about, you know, six or seven years now, eight, maybe, I don't even know, seven or eight years now, I've been doing disaster work. And, but we started our own, we wanted to be a much smaller organization and much more faith-based. So. And what inspired you guys to start the organization? Just to share the gospel, you know, after somebody's lost completely everything that they have, um, it's, it's just heartbreaking and, to let people know that there's still some good out there in the world and that somebody does care for them and that there is a God out there to, uh, to love them. So, you know, when they've lost everything, what do we like to do? Obviously, in Louisiana, we all like to eat. So you have to eat so we can feed them and share, them, share a story with them. They can share their stories, give them a hug if they want a hug, whatever, somebody just to talk to. And so what was your reaction seeing all the devastation over the weekend in the heartland? Well, you know, um, obviously everybody has a busy schedule this time of the year uh, with Christmas parties and other events. Uh, I'm on the, actually I'm on the Independence Bowl Foundation uh, committee. Uh, I'm like, I don't have time to go. I don't have time to go. I, I don't I have too much going on, but I have the resources. I have the equipment and I have the know-how and the knowledge to do it. And it just, it was heartbreaking. And I told my wife, I said, we've got to go, we've got to go. Um, I've got to go, there's no choice, we've got to go. So we've got to go help somebody. 
And so when did you guys arrive there? So the storm hit on Saturday evening um, during the, the late hours of the night. We started loading up Sunday morning and uh, I sent crews out uh, Sunday afternoon. I sent about five guys from the Shreveport area and then my partners in Alabama, they sent uh, about five or six guys with equipment. So we arrived on site uh, Sunday night and we served our first meal uh, about 10 o'clock uh, Monday morning. So we served about 1500 meals the first day and that's that's included in getting set up and everything else. So 1500 meals went out to that community. I wouldn't say 24 hours, but it was, it was about 36 hours after the storm had hit, we were, we were on the ground and, and feeding food. And so now that number is probably way more, right? Because right. we're, yeah. we're Wednesday. We're, we're on Wednesday. So we served 1,500 on Monday. Um, we served right about 3,500 on Tuesday. And the day will be about 5,000 meals is what, is what we're going to get out today. And so where are you guys located? Are you in Mayfield? We are actually in the town of Mayfield. We're set up in the, right in the downtown area, um, less than a couple of hundred yards away from the actual devastation, the major devastation. And um, we're at a local church. There, and so there are all of your supplies donated or is it a volunteer uh, organization? How does that work? 100%, we're a 100% volunteer organization. Nobody in our organization um, makes a single dollar. And so I'm sorry, this thing is bouncing. I'm trying to hold it to where it doesn't bounce as much. That's nobody in our, nobody in our organization makes a single dollar. We're a hundred percent nonprofit. Uh, we're all volunteers. Uh, the way we get the product we have, you know, we have some sponsors that'll help us with some product if there, if there's some available, but most of it, we just have to go buy, you know, and if we can get a discount on it, we get a discount on it. So our biggest, um, our biggest, support is just people sharing our word and sharing what we do and with them sharing it um hopefully get some donations and it doesn't matter if it's a five dollar donation or you know any any amount of money helps and so how can people donate if you know they would like to so obviously you can follow us on facebook or on our facebook page you can go to our website givingback.org and that's like i said giving and then back b-a-k dot o-r-g and there's a link on there to donate. It's through PayPal. It's super easy. It's two buttons you push and you can, you know, donate through PayPal. PayPal is, you know, uh, being that we're a nonprofit and they have all of our paperwork, they take a very, very, very minimal fee out and the money comes to us immediately. So it's a great, it's a, it's a great tool for us to, to be able to continue to do what we do. And so how long do you guys expect to be there and how many more people are uh, traveling with you to go and help? I've got uh, I've got four people with me right now, and uh, we're going in to kind of relieve a crew that that has to come back home tomorrow. We've got a couple other people coming down from the Gulfport area coming up tomorrow as well. Um, we'll probably run through the weekend. It kind of just depends. Today's kind of the telltale day of what's gonna what makes the turn, but we'll probably run through the weekend, and, and probably last service will probably be Saturday or Sunday, and come on back. And uh, what's your estimation of how many people are there um, representing your group? We probably have around 15 core volunteers on site at all times. And then uh, the church brings in about 15 or 20 uh, local volunteers to uh, church members or, or people that, that come and help. So there's an, an average uh, number of people on site at a given time is around you know, anywhere from 20 to 30 people. And so what are people telling you, uh, the ones that are there already, about what they're seeing? You know, um, one of my, I own a company in town, and one of my, I sent one of my employees to help. And, uh, you know, we've gone to hurricanes, we've gone to flooding, we've gone to several different disasters. And he says, it's, Brian, there's nothing like this. This is just gut-wrenching, and there is nothing there. I mean what used to be a town is there is no nothing and you know they had to go somewhere and go get some parts the other day and they drove and he said we haven't seen necessarily devastation 
but they're still structures and uh, not structures uh pieces of metal or pieces of wood scattered scattered throughout these fields miles and miles and miles probably 20 miles away from the actual where the hurricane hit there was still just debris in these open fields everywhere he says it's just total destruction he says it's the craziest thing he's ever seen and so, so you know um overall why do you guys do it you know um we have we have a giving heart and um, have the resources and the capability to be able to leave town and go help somebody. Um, there, it's I've never went to a deployment, and it sounds like it's a selfish answer, but it's very rewarding to help someone else, and it's to let these people know that there is a there is a God out there in this. The world is very a very good has is full of a very good amount of people. Is there any videos and pictures that uh, you can send to me? I will. Uh, my wife's right here. She's the one who's been collecting them all and one keeping up with Facebook. I'm going to have her share my number, uh, your number with her and have her just text you. Okay, because this is going to air at six. I'll have to send you a release form that'll give us permission to use the photos. And also, do we have permission to um, also take pictures from your Facebook as well? 100%, 100%. And when you're there, do you mind um, maybe tomorrow or something we can coordinate, maybe doing a Facebook Live or our Zoom sure. with you live so you can kind of show us the area and what you guys are doing down there? 100%, I would love to do that. Okay, I'll okay. share your number with uh, my news uh, director so he can okay. reach out because I think he would like to do more with you all since you're yep. already down there. Well, That's thank perfect. you so much. I'm going to send the release form to you and you guys can send me the photos. You guys have safe travels there Perfect. and thank you there's, for all that you do. Hello, there's, I'm Taylor. That's my, uh, say, I'm, oh, my just so that you can put put a face with who's going to be texting you in a minute. Okay. Well, all thank right. you. You guys have safe travels, okay? Thank you, Taylor. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.